Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, do a simple programming with the MARI. So MARI is basically a uh, simulator that you think to uh, demonstrate the concept of system architecture. right? So uh, before going to show a uh, simple example, I'm going to uh, um, show you the, uh, we, we're going to go through the uh, MARI uh, basic instruction set first. Okay? Uh, so here the uh, fundamental uh, instruction of the Marie. So the uh, Marie instruction gonna be containing a, a 16 bits uh, with a 4 bits for the output uh, from 12 to 15 and the address from a 0 to 11. Okay, so that's the uh, basic format of the uh, MORI instruction. So here's a list of a fundamental MORI instruction. Um, you can uh, go into the uh, website the uh, Marie simulator to get more detail of those instructions right here. But this is basically some of the very fundamental instructions from Marie. So for example, the first one right here, binary 0001, uh, that's the 4 bit. In hexadecimal uh, could be 1, so representing the load x. So x could be representing by address right here. And uh, load right here representing by the 4 bit right here. So um, that can be load the values uh, in the address H uh, to the uh, AC uh, register. Okay. The second one gonna be a uh, store. Uh, that gonna be one zero. Um, that's a two in hexadecimal. Store H is store the values of the AC to the address H. Uh, one one is in uh, uh, hexadecimal. That three. That add H is basically add the values of uh, address H to the AC and store back to the AC. Uh, four. Um, that can be subtract X, so subtract the values of X from the IC and store back to the IC. Input output, that the uh, uh, instructions to uh, take the input, uh, input from the keyboard uh, and also output to the monitor uh, to display the outcome, for example. Uh, the uh, number seven that they terminate a uh, heart uh, of the program when uh, uh, we reach to the end of the program. Uh, to a more advanced one, we skip condition, just skip next instruction based on the condition of the value uh, in the IC. And the jump X basic load the value of X into the PC to perform the instruction uh, at that specific uh, um, uh, location, uh, specifying the address X right here. Okay, so we, this one we're going to show in different uh, example, but in this one we're going to show very simple one here. Yeah. So the example we're going to show right here could be perform the calculation x plus y and subtract z and the outcome of the result can be stored in the result variables. Uh, x, y, z could be a three variables have been stored in the memory with the x equal 10, y equal 20, and z equal 5. Okay. Uh, so when you calculate, we can store the value to the result and then we, so we display the uh, result of the uh, uh, calculation right here on the display screen. So here's the step we're going to do. First of all, we need to load X into the AC. Then we add Y to the AC. Basically, we perform X plus Y and we store into the AC. Then we do the subtract Z. Basically, we do X plus mm. Y subtract Z, and uh, that could be uh, the uh, outcome of the calculation right here. Next one, we need to store uh, the value in the AC uh, to the result right here, and then we output the value of the AC to the monitor, and then we terminate the program. Okay. So with that said, you can have the um, when you um, open the uh, uh, Marie simulator, you can uh, um, you can uh, 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 have the screen like this, and then we can go to the find edit, and then we can uh, open the um, the the uh, new window right here, and then uh, where you can um, type in the code uh, we just instruct up here. So basically, the first one right here, we load it to the AC. We add Y to the AC, and basically we perform X plus Y. Then we subtract Z, so basically we do uh, X plus Y and subtract Z. Uh, so the values of calculation right here, right now store in the AC, and then we do the store result. This means the value in the AC is going to be stored into this uh, variable, and then we do the output, display the uh, values of the AC to the monitor, 
and then we terminate the program. We also need to declare the variables. So basically, I uh, with the decimal value equal to 10, y with the decimal value equal to 20, and uh, z with the decimal equal to 5. Also, we have the variable result with the initial value equal to 0. Okay, so that's the, that the code we can write for the Marie uh, given the uh, instruction set uh, we just discussed before. So once you have the uh, code right here, you need to assemble it by using assemble count file. So if you uh, assemble it, you're going to have the assembly successful right here, uh, or you're going to have some kind of a, uh, arrow uh, of the... Uh, of the uh, 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 assembling um, so we need to fix this but uh, this one has been successfully uh, uh, one small thing is that when you uh, uh, save it uh, we can have the uh, extension kind of dot mask that the extension of the uh, code in the Marie uh, simulator okay so we can have it um, now once you assemble to the uh, machine code now we can run in the uh, simulator as well so we're gonna find load a file right here gonna be example one right here right so um the um code have been loaded right here with the load i so i gonna be specified by this uh, um address of i right here could be 06 right here and load can be representing by the one right here. So that's going to be representing the instruction set we just discussed before. So this is going to be a uh, uh, 16 uh, bit of the uh, instruction for the memory right here. And the app Y, that going to be the uh, 3 right here, going to be representing the app. And 07 right here representing the uh, address of the Y. Uh, sub Z right here, 4 going to be a uh, subtraction operation. And 008 right here representing the address of Z. And a store right here uh, going to be 2. Uh, that's going to store operation. And 09 right here is the location of the uh, address of the variable uh, result right here. And then output. So output we can uh, using the uh, decimal. So basically we expect uh, 10 plus 20 and subtract 5. So output can be with 25. Okay. And uh, we terminate. So we're going to do the step by step. Right here, so this one gonna be uh, values of the I have been uh, loaded right here. A is mean in hexadecimal. The first one, second one, uh, when you do, you so see the values of the IC changing instruction register, uh, memory address register, uh, memory buffer register, and PC uh, as well. So on. And that's one gonna be subtract the value of Z from the IC. So the IC right here could be a 19. You can change the value to decimal as well. So that's 25. And we store the values of the IC to the uh, result right here. So that's going to be the 19. Uh, uh, 1, 9 basically has a decimal, but that's the, going to be 25. And the output, the values right here, 25, that's a decimal. We can change to H as well. So that's uh, 19, 9. Okay. And then we can go into the last step right here, can terminate the program. Right, so I think that the uh, very simple step to uh, using the memory simulator to uh, program it and so uh, assemble the code and load into the memory to execute it. All right, so um, I think that helped. And uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.